Hi, this is Victoria from CrushCrypto.com. For this video, I will be reviewing an upcoming ICO project called Block Cloud. As always, we are not paid or mandated to do any of our reviews. This is just a personal opinion and analysis for educational purposes only and not financial advice. Please always do your own research before making any investment decisions. BlockCloud is developing an advanced TCP IP that is blockchain-based. Their proposed solution involves Service-Centric Networking, or SCN for short. SCN is a new type of networking architecture that allows applications to communicate using service names instead of addresses. Their solution is essentially a set of networking protocols that will constantly connect network providers and demanders while resolving the issues of poor connectivity, scalability, and security that exists in today's Internet of Things industry. This diagram illustrates how SCN and blockchain technology are both utilized in block cloud solution for their various advantages. The block cloud architecture has a unique four-layer structure. The transaction chain layer stores the encoded transactions of the network as a global ledger. The service chain layer defines new operations without requiring any changes to the underlying blockchain. This layer will also house the block cloud marketplace where users can bid for various IoT services. The routing layer is responsible for the task of routing requests such as discovering services, and the service layer serves the actual services of the network. The network will be utilizing proof of service to ensure service reliability with the help of the network's verifiers. Because the routing layer is separated from the service layer, which is unlike typical web services, Block Cloud allows multiple service providers to exist at the same time. This diagram illustrates Block Cloud's layered architecture as well as the four layers that I just talked about. Shenzhen Oatmon Technology, or just Oatmon, is the parent company of BlockCloud. They are a smart home smartware company that serves millions of users in China and has over 100 partners, including China Mobile and Tsinghua University. Oatmon has been in the IoT business for the past six years. The company has so far submitted applications for more than 80 patents and connected over 8 million devices. The project's future development roadmap is summarized on this slide. BlockCloud is still under development. The testnet is currently scheduled for launch in the second quarter of 2019, while the mainnet is tentatively scheduled for release by the second quarter of 2020. On the business development side, the BlockCloud team and its advisors have already started collaborating with various universities and companies. They have reportedly secured over 30 partnerships via its parent company, Oatmon. Those that may potentially use BlockCloud include Tsinghua University, the Hong Kong Polytech University, Oatmon, WTC, and so on. BlockCloud is also in the process of building a strategic partnership with Wave. With help from the Chinese universities, BlockCloud will also be promoted to the Internet Engineering Task Force. The IETF is an international group that develops and promotes standards for the Internet, such as the Internet Protocol Suite. One of the advisors supporting BlockCloud was actually a former chairman of the IETF. In addition, CERNet will be supporting the project by testing, deploying, and adopting BlockCloud. CERNet is China's first education and research computer network and is one of the four major internet networks in China. BlockCloud will be raising funds by issuing BLOC or Block Tokens. The hard cap is $15 million and the conversion rate is 0.8 cents per token. The fully diluted market cap is $75 million on the ICO date. The private sale is already over, but the public token sale is still scheduled to be launched soon. The whitelist and KYC registration is tentatively set for August 2018. This chart shows how the total supply of block tokens will be distributed. Tokens from the private sale are subject to a lockup period. 20% of the tokens will be released before exchange listing. Two months after listing, 10% of the tokens will be released per month. For the most up-to-date information on their ICO, please visit the official website and join their Telegram group. The Block Token is a network's native token and is used to enable an incentive-driven marketplace for IoT services. There will be four main participants in the network. Service providers publish services to the marketplace and are rewarded with Block Tokens based on their level of contribution. Service users subscribe to services from the marketplace and pay tokens to consume those services. Service miners maintain the ledger and are rewarded with tokens. Mining rewards will be released at an annual rate of 5% over 6 years. And finally, verifiers ensure the quality of services provided and are rewarded with tokens for verifying services. 
Block Cloud will be leveraging various mechanisms such as proof of service to verify services and Truthful Continuous Double Auction to fairly distribute those services. With this model, buyers could gradually pay tokens to the service provider for verify services provided and avoid the risk of losing money if the seller leaves the network before the agreed amount of service has been consumed. Block tokens should appreciate in value as more participants join and use the network, which is in turn driven by numerous factors, including ease of use, pricing, mobility, security, and so on. According to LinkedIn, the Block Cloud company was established in December of 2016. The core team is currently comprised of at least 12 people. The biographies of the key team members are summarized here on this slide. In addition to the core team, Block Cloud has 16 people on its technical advisory board. Technical advisors include Fred Baker, the former chairman of the IETF, professors from numerous universities, and other advisors. The project also has an additional five people on its business advisor board, including a former economist of the White House Council of Economic Advisors, the founding partner of Neo Global Capital, a managing partner of Origin X Capital, and so on. Investors of the project include Genesis Capital, OK Blockchain Capital, KuCoin, Neo Global Capital, JRR, BlockBC, GBIC, and others. Here are some of our thoughts on the project's opportunities. In our view, SCN on the blockchain can make blockchains more user-friendly and has a lot of potential. The Block Cloud team has a strong background from a technical perspective as the core team comes from an academic background and many of their advisors are professors. They are also strong in terms of business development experience as they established the smart home smartware company Odemon and have already started building partnerships for Block Cloud. Their collaboration with the various universities and CERNet could also result in fast adoption and good traction. And lastly, the Internet of Things is a rapidly growing industry. According to the team, the number of IoT devices increased 31% to 8.4 billion in 2017 from the previous year, and it is estimated that this number could grow to 30 billion by 2020. They also cited market forecasts that estimate the global IoT market could grow from $157 billion in 2017 to $457 billion by 2020. In terms of our concerns, first of all, there is no MVP available yet, and the actual testnet will not be launched until the second quarter of 2019. The mainnet will not be until a year following that, which is quite a while from the ICO date. Our other concern is that only 20% of the total token supply is being allocated to investors, including ICO contributors, and this is a relatively low percentage. Overall, we have a positive view on this ICO for flipping. The project has a relatively low hard cap and high market awareness. Other aspects, including the idea and the team, are quite solid in our view. The pre-sale participants have a long lockup period, which makes the initial circulating supply fairly low. Multiple exchanges have also invested in this project, so we believe the tokens should have no issue listing on decent exchanges with plenty of unmet demand after the tokens have been listed. For long-term holding, we also have a positive view. With a strong technical team and advisory board, we believe BlockCloud has a good chance of pulling off this ambitious and highly technical project. The potential for SCN in the IoT industry could also be substantial. To our knowledge, there are no other blockchain projects that are working on a solution with this unique combination. While the mainnet launch is quite far away, we believe the pros outweigh the cons and we like the long-term prospects of this project. Thank you very much for taking the time to watch our video review on Block Cloud. If you haven't already, please subscribe to our YouTube channel, follow us on Twitter and Facebook, and join our Telegram group to get our latest updates. We publish new content on various projects and cryptocurrencies on a regular basis. Hope you have a great day and keep crushing it!